Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of today's video is going to be dating multiple women. Now, if you're a guy that up until now has not had a lot of success meeting and dating lots of different types of women, I would highly encourage you to start dating lots of women and going out with lots of different women. Why? So you can figure out exactly what you want and what is most important to you in a woman that you date or a woman that you get involved in a long-term relationship with. And it also helps you with your skills because you want to get to the point where you're comfortable being yourself and you say the things that you want to say and you do the things that you want to do in your daily life and not being worried about what a woman's going to think about you. And also, I mean, if you're just starting out and you're learning the stuff that I teach in my book, How to Be a 3% Man, it takes time. You've got to apply these things and learn these things. You've got to get to know material like I've talked about before so well that you could literally give a seminar on the subject. And that means you've got to read it at least 10 to 15 times because human beings only retain about 10% of what they read, what they watch, and what they hear the first time they see it. So that's something that's very important. And so the other thing to consider is that if you've got four or five different women that you've met or you're in various stages of dating or going out with or trying to set up dates, I mean, the bottom line is you're going to make mistakes. And you don't. the worst thing you can do as a man is to get emotionally hung up on one woman who you just met or just started dating because you think she's the answer to what you're looking for. And more often than not, when guys are just starting out in this area, is you're going to make mistakes. I mean, I made mistakes along the way, and I don't always do everything perfect when I meet somebody. Sometimes I'm just not in a mood to meet someone, and I bomb. Sometimes things go smooth as silk. The key is to get to the place where when you see somebody you like and you're interested in, you go up and you ask for the phone number, or you start talking to them, strike up a conversation, and start interacting with them. And so I'm going to read you a little a few excerpts from an email from a coaching client that I got. I had coached him for about five, six months. And just to give you a little background, he'd been in the military for several years. And then when he got out, he was having a real hard time. Things were great for about the first six months. And then a after that, he was having a real hard time meeting women and, and setting dates. And so he kind of got himself into a slump. And so when I started working with him and coaching him, I helped him realize that he wasn't really focused on his purpose in life and what he ultimately wanted to do, and which was obviously his career. Because in the military, he had a purpose. He knew exactly what he was supposed to do. And when he came out, he still had that, that the success routines that had developed because obviously he learned his craft. And now that he's gone back to school, he's a student again. And so everything he's learned, he's learned for, you know, for the first time and so it's going to be several years before he you know, he's got a four-year degree before he actually graduates and is able to work into his field and so this is the perfect opportunity for him to meet a lot of new and, and different and exciting women because he's in college and obviously there's a lot of young beautiful attractive women in college and plus there's a lot of like what I like to say cannon fodder women that you can practice on and if you blow it you know so what who cares there's another hundred of them they're gonna come along tomorrow that you could potentially meet. So let me read a few excerpts from his email. He says, I got a hot date tomorrow. I set it up playbook style. Let's see if she follows through or cancels. Then this other gal that I was with a few years ago hit me up on Facebook. She is from my hometown as well. She messaged me saying, text me next time I'm in town that we should do lunch. I said, that would be great. I would really like to see you. Message me your number and before I go in, I will set something up and give you the details. Now, I haven't heard back from her yet. I'm just playing the waiting game for now. That's something that's really important. When you are meeting and you're dating different women, I mean, think about it. If you're in an abundance mindset, meaning you have lots of women calling you, wanting to go out, hey, I miss you, I want to see you, or somebody you met over the weekend calls and says, hey, they want to get together and hang out, maybe have a drink, those kinds of things, is that when you you call or message because women are going to test your strength especially the beautiful women I mean they've got lots of guys calling them they have lots of options and so when you call or you do something or you invite a woman to call you back or you send her a message and she doesn't get back to you right away what most guys tend to do in that situation is they tend to chase they start running after her. and a lot of times women will just hang back a little bit to see what the guy does because the needy insecure control freaks start blowing up her phone and get mad and get pissed off at her 
And then right away she knows to delete the number and definitely not to make a date with that guy. So don't fall into the trap of chasing a woman. If you've left a message for her or you called her or sent her an email and she hasn't responded yet, you just need to let it go. She'll either get back to you or she'll completely ignore you. If she ignores you, then you know to forget about the number. So his next paragraph it says, I haven't heard back from her yet, so I'm playing the waiting game. Anyways, other women I have been jumping through hoops with work and school. I'm still managing to squeeze in some reading time for the book. Damn, Corey, that book has helped me out in ways unimaginable. I'm still making mistakes, but overall I feel I'm getting better. Last week I went out with another girl I was telling you about. We went to a bar, and I totally know what you're talking about when it comes to masculine energy. I wasn't nervous like I was when I was with this model chick a few months ago, and everything just flowed right. Not to mention other chicks were checking me out big time. When I would get up to go to the bathroom, these other gals were totally giving me the come on. Anyway, so far, Corey, I just thought I would share some of my success with you. Hope all is well with you. Now what's interesting is that when you're with a woman, especially an attractive woman, other women are going to notice that and they automatically right away assume you must be successful with women and therefore you're a high status male. And this will cause women to chase you or pursue you or compete with you with other women. I mean women in this area when they when two women, especially women that are friends like each like the same guy, they can be ruthless at times. So, however, back to the model chick a few months ago, I'm sensing she is playing games. She finally texted me a week ago saying, hi, how are you? So I replied and said, doing good. We texted back and forth for a few minutes, and then I said I really wanted to see her, and then I was going to be in town for my sister's wedding that weekend. She said she was coming up but would be available on Saturday. This is interesting. This is a, a gal that he'd gone out with, had this great date with, now he happens to live a couple hours away from where he grew up and this particular girl that he likes lives where he grew up near his parents place and so the only time that he can see her I mean she's two three hours away and so he lets her know she's coming to town she's like hey great awesome I'm gonna be available Saturday and then he texts her and then nothing happens she disappears Now this isn't the first time that she's done this to him and so what I've, I've told him to do is just when you've messaged her and she just backs off like that or is, is vague and doesn't, never calls you when, when you call her when you're in town, it's like ignore her. And when she finally does get in touch with you a week or two later, whatever it happens to be, see if you can set a definite date with her or invite her to come see you where you live. And so that's what he's been doing with her. And in the meantime, he's been dating and meeting other women and going out on dates and because this other girl, she's a model. I mean, she's dropped dead gorgeous and she's got lots of other guys. And so she came on real hot and then she's backed off a little bit. So there, should, there could be another guy that's in the picture. You know, we just don't know. And that's why it's important to play your cards right. And one of the things I learned from a, a coach of mine years ago is that you got to outweight and outwit women. In this particular case, it's like he puts it out there. She doesn't respond right away. So what does he do? He goes and gets busy with the other women that he's been dating because he's met so many different women and he's meeting lots of new different women every week. And so this gives you choices. And so you'll go out on a date and you'll have a really great connection with somebody and then the next date you go out with somebody different. It's kind of mediocre. You're kind of having to try real hard to keep the conversation going. You can tell she's not making as much of an effort in it as you are. And this is what's so great about the abundance mentality in dating multiple women when you're not in a serious relationship is that it keeps you in an abundance mindset so you don't get hung up emotionally on one girl as you're learning and trying to grow and improve your skills. Because you're going to get to a certain point and your skills are going to be on a certain level and you're going to think, oh, oh wow, I've, I've really got this stuff. And then you're going to meet a woman that just sucks the air out of your lungs. She's so beautiful and she just, oh, she just, she's exactly what you're looking for. And that's why you need to prepare yourself by dating lots of different women and going out with them so you can start to see what the difference is between women that have a real high level of interest in you and women that have kind of a low to mediocre interest level in you. And over time, you'll, the, the women that you date, more and more of them will be women that you have a high level of interest in because your standards are going to go up as you have choices.